Hi, after watching this video, you will be able to answer interview questions related to life cycle hooks in Angular. Hey, my name is Happy and my goal is not to just give you knowledge but also to help you in cracking interviews. Here are the most important questions from life cycle hooks which we will cover in this video. Soon I will create part 4 of Angular interview series and if you want that video then please press like and subscribe button right now. So without wasting time, let's start with the first question. Before understanding at input, at output, decorators and angular lifecycle hook, we must know what are parent-child components. Suppose we have a parent component in our single page application with a input and a button field like this. Most of the time your app component or root component is only the parent component. And if there are any other components inside this component, then they will be called child components. So here this is the child component. Now let me show you how to do this in code. Here we have the fresh angular project with app component and we will consider this as a parent component. This is the HTML of this parent component. Blue color border with some margin and text as parent component. And here is the browser view of it. Now we need a child component inside this parent component, right? This is the objective. For that, inside the app folder, we will create a child component. For that, open terminal, press Ctrl C to stop the application. Write ng, g for generate, c for component and then component name which is child here and press enter. Here is our child component created and let me just put some html css here for green border margin and text child component. Do not much bother about this HTML here. This is just for designing. Uh, this has nothing to relate with the parent component. Just for the borders I have created it. Now how to make the point is how to make this component as the child component of the parent component. So that this child component will be visible here inside the parent component in browser. So that is very simple. Go inside the child component type script file, copy the selector and then go to the parent component HTML file and paste the selector inside the parent component. So here we have the selector inside the HTML file of the parent component. We can put many child components like this inside the parent component, inside this parent component. Uh, if you remember, it is same as we put the app component selector inside the index.html file, right? App root uh, selector. Now, to see the changes, the parent inside the child inside the parent, open the terminal, run the application by typing ng serve and press enter. See, in the browser, the child component is pre present inside the parent component now. So we have established the relationship of the parent-child component. So this is the answer of this question. If you have any queries, please ask me in the comment section. Here is the question. What are life cycle hooks in Angular? This question is very important and it is asked in many interviews. So what is life cycle hooks basically? In simple English, a component from creation to destruction goes through several stages and these stages are the life cycle hooks. These stages will cover activities like component instantiating, rendering the component HTML view, creating the child components if required and finally destroying the components. Now why as a developer we need life cycle hooks? Because might be we want to add some behavior in the component when it is instantiating. For that purpose, we need particular a component hook inside which we will code for this particular thing. 
So that is why a developer need component hooks. And here is the list of component hooks provided by Angular. You can code inside them to change the component behavior at any point of time. Here note that the first one, the, this constructor is not the part of the lifecycle hook. But it's a very important thing to know. That's why I have included it. We cannot ignore this. This is a very important part of uh, a TypeScript class. Now let me give you some th theoretical overview about some important hooks, uh, which you can tell in the interview. After that, we will pick those hooks and will understand them in detail in separate questions. So quickly start with the first thing as that is constructor. This is the default method of the TypeScript class that is executed when the class is instantiated. It always run before any angular hook and it is not a part of lifecycle hook. Second is ng on changes. It is called when the input property of the component changes. Uh, you remember input decorator? Yes, this is related to that. We will discuss this in upcoming question. Third is ng on init. This is the most important hook and it is called when the component is finally created. After this, we have this ng do check. This is not so important, but the purpose is when component is finally created via this ng on init. And if Angular is not able to detect some changes in the component until then, then that thing can be held, handled in this ng do check uh, hook. So that is the its purpose. After this, we have these four hooks which run only for child components. And if a component do not have any child components, then none of them is required. And finally, the last one is ng on destroy. This is called when the component is destroyed. So that is the whole quick overview of the hooks. Now in upcoming question, we will focus on the most important ones. If you have any queries, then please ask me in the comment section. Here is the question. What is a constructor in Angular? So here inside the component class, we will have the constructor like this. Now here are some important points about constructor. The constructor is a method in a TypeScript class that automatically gets called when the class is being instantiated. So this is one point. Another important point is constructor always run before any angular hook and it is not a part of lifecycle hooks. This is another very important point. So the thing is now why we need constructor? What is the use of these constructors? So the first and the most widely used is constructor is widely used to inject dependencies or services into the component class. There are other uses, but this is the most important one. In every good Angular project, you will find services and how we use services. We use it by injecting them inside the components via this constructor only. I have covered services and dependency injection in detail in other questions. Now let me show you quickly how the constructor is the first thing which execute in the component class. Here in the code, we will put some log messages inside constructor and some messages inside ng on init lifecycle hook. Now let me run the application. Open terminal, type ng serve and press enter. In the browser, inspect the document then go to console and see the message printed first message inside constructor will be executed and first the sorry the first message here is from the constructor only and then the message inside from the ng on in it will be printed so this shows that the constructor is the first thing which will be executed inside the component this is the answer of this question and if you have any queries, then please ask me in the comment section. Here is the question. What is ng on init lifecycle hook in Angular? This is the most important hook of the component lifecycle. The definition is 
ng on init signals the activation of the created component. That means Angular framework has created the component and now developer can write some code inside this hook for component operations. Component operations like loading some content to the component, setting subscriptions, etc, etc. So this is the primary thing and primary role of ng on init. You can tell few more things about this hook to the interviewer. For example, this is the second hook and called after ng on changes. ng on init called only once during the component lifecycle. Unlike ng on changes which may be called many times, if input property is not there, then ng on changes will not be even called at all. But ng on init will be called only once. And then Angular knows this is a very important component to code. So when you generate a new component, then this ng on init code will be present by default inside the component. So this is all about the ng on init lifecycle hook. And if you have any queries or feedback, then please write in the comment section. Here is a differences question and differences questions are the favorites of interviewers because with this they can check two concepts with a single question now the question is what is the difference between constructor and ng on init let's start with the definition of ng on init ng on init is an angular lifecycle hook which signals the activation of the created component remember it's an angular lifecycle hook and when this is called when the component is already created on the other hand, the constructor is a method in a TypeScript class that automatically gets called when the class is being instantiated, meaning constructor is not a part of the Angular lifecycle hook. It's a part of the TypeScript class and Angular framework and TypeScript class are two different th things. TypeScript can be used in other frameworks also apart from Angular framework. Any right now angular framework is using type script class, but although they are two different things. Second difference is ng on init is called after ng on changes lifecycle hook, whereas constructor is called before any lifecycle hook. The first lifecycle hook is ng on changes, but the constructor will be called even before that. So when constructor will be called, the component is not yet created or yet not yet ready. Now the most important difference is when to use ng on init and when to use constructor. This can be a separate question and it's a very important question. When to use what for coding? When ng on init will be called everything about the component is already ready or you can say it is already created. So developer use it to perform most of the business logic on component and that code will be written inside this ng on init method. Oh, sorry, lifecycle hook. Because uh, because if you will perform operation when things are not ready, for example, if you will perform business logic before the ng on init, then many a times application can break because the component is still not ready. Uh, let me give you a comparison here. Suppose, uh, suppose in real, the humans, if you put education or job stress in a newborn baby, then, then what will happen? Then things will not go as per the expectation because many things like the brain, the body, the physical that are not ready, still not ready in the human babies or the human child. So there is a time. Similarly, in component lifecycle also the ng on init hook meaning is the component is mature now and we can do operation here. Before that, it can be too risky. Similarly, when constructor called, when we will call the constructor or the application is started, then constructor is called. Everything in component is not ready. Only some things like component is still in the development phase. It is still not created or not developed. So at that point, mostly we used for just injecting the dependencies only. So this is one very important thing which we do inside the constructor and that is injecting dependencies. 
Apart from this, we can declare variables, instantiate some classes, but not more than that. Very limited code should be placed inside the constructor. Because dependencies, because why we inject dependencies in constructor? Because dependencies do not do not have to do anything with the component maturity. It is not related whether your component is created or not created. That's why inject dependencies in the constructor. I hope now the differences are pretty clear to you and you can explain these same differences in the front of the interviewer, interviewer easily. If you have any queries, then please ask me in the comment section. Now we have completed interview questions around Angular lifecycle hooks. In part 4 and above, I will cover interview questions on topics like routing, observable, interceptors, etc. etc. If you want this video, then write him Mukambo in comment section and or, or, or you can also press like and subscribe button. At the end, good luck for your interview, do your best and never ever give up. All the best for all your career. Thank you.